Wednesday, February 22, 2023 at 12.59 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time. China and Russia showcase deepening ties, with an eye on Ukraine. China and Russia are deepening their ties, with a series of meetings that are closely watched for signs that Beijing might offer the Kremlin stronger support for its war in Ukraine. The visit by Wang Yi, the Chinese Communist Party's most senior foreign policy official, to Moscow comes as the conflict in Ukraine continues to upend the global diplomatic order. Relations between Russia and the West are at their lowest point since the Cold War, and ties between China and the US are also under serious strain. Moscow suspended its participation in the last remaining nuclear arms control treaty with Washington this week. And the U.S. expressed concern in recent days that China could provide arms and ammunition to Russia. Tuesday, February 21, 2023 at 10.35 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time. Former Proud Boys member testifies against leaders in capital insurrection trial. Jeremy Bertino who has pleaded guilty to plotting with group leaders to violently stop the transfer of presidential power from Donald Trump to Joe Biden, told jurors Tuesday that he viewed their far-right extremist organization as the tip of the spear after the 2020 election. Wednesday, February 22, 2023 at 5.16 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time. Australia to get nuclear-powered submarines in biggest defense leap. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says a deal to provide Australia with nuclear-powered submarines will be the nation's biggest leap in defence capability in its history. Wednesday, February 22, 2023 at 11.58 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time. Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter enters hospice care. Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter has entered hospice care at his home in Plains, Georgia. The 98-year-old Carter is terminally ill, with six months or less to live. Hospice care is treatment designed to make patients comfortable and to reduce pain and suffering in their final days. It is usually home-based, but can also be provided in nursing homes, hospitals and hospice centers. Tuesday, February 21, 2023 at 10.16 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time. Convicted rapist and murderer out on parole. Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh. Leader of the Dara Sasha Sauda sect, is out on parole despite being convicted of rape and murder. The video of him celebrating with Honeypreet Insan, a young woman he calls his adopted daughter, has gone viral in India, sparking outrage among the public. Sikhism's highest religious organization, the Shiromani Gurdwara Parbandak Committee, SGPC, has filed a petition in court challenging his parole, saying it sends a wrong message to society. Tuesday, February 21, 2023 at 11.53 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time. Alabama players linked to fatal shooting. On January 15, a 23-year-old mother named Jamea Harris was killed in a shootout in front of a popular string of bars in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Later that day, an Alabama basketball player, Darius Miles, and his longtime friend from back in Maryland, Michael Lynn Davis, were arrested for the killing. At a hearing for Miles and Davis, more details emerged, including the presence at the scene of two additional Alabama players, Jaden Bradley and Brandon Miller. According to a Tuscaloosa detective, Miller is also someone who received a text from Miles that night requesting that Miller drive over to the Strip, a collection of bars and restaurants, and bring Miles' gun with him. When Miller arrived, Miles and Davis got in his car, according to testimony. It was there that Miles took the gun and then handed it to Davis, telling him, back quote there's one in the head, a reference, police testified, to a bullet being in the chamber. With the gun in his hand, Davis walked up and began firing through the driver's side window of the Jeep, Al.com reported. Harris's boyfriend used his own gun to return fire, hitting both Davis in the shoulder and Miller's Dodge Charger twice. The boyfriend then was able to drive the Jeep away. He soon spotted a police car and, seeking help, stopped at the nearby Walk of Champions in front of Bryant-Denny Stadium. Harris, the mother of a five-year-old boy, was pronounced dead at the scene. Miles and Davis are being charged with capital murder. Miller has not been charged with any crime, and an assistant district attorney told AL.com that there's nothing we could charge him with, according to the law. Tuesday, February 21, 2023 at 10.23 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time. Atlanta Hawks fire head coach Nate McMillan. The Atlanta Hawks have fired head coach Nate McMillan. Assistant coach Joe Prunty is expected to take over in the interim, ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski reports. 
McMillan, 58, has been the head coach in Atlanta since the 2020-21 season. Tuesday, February 21, 2023 at 3.21 p.m. UTC Texas A&M looks to continue their hot streak against Tennessee. The Aggies are 12-2 in conference play and currently have the second-best record in the SEC, ahead of teams like Tennessee, Auburn, Arkansas and Kentucky. Most bracketologists have the Aggies as a tournament team, with projected seeding ranging between a number 8 seed and a number 10 seed. Tuesday, February 21, 2023 at 7.24 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time. Wheeler, Alvarado stand out at Philly's first full squad workout of spring training. Wheeler and Alvarado looked sharp in the Phillies' first full squad workout of spring training. Manager Rob Thompson is focused on health as the team prepares for the World Baseball Classic.